So I want us to learn how to write out chemical equations. And here's what you'll be able, you'll, you'll need to be able to do is I give you a written sentence that indicates a reaction is taking place. You need to write the chemical, for, the chemical <coughs> equation for it. So I'll do the first one. Zinc metal is reacted with hydrochloric acid, producing hydrogen gas, and an aqueous solution of zinc chloride. So zinc metal is easy. I know that's going to be, whoops, I know that's going to be a solid. And it's reacted with hydrochloric acid, which is HCl. All acids are aqueous in aqueous form. So that's written there. And it produces or forms hydrogen gas. Remember your diatomic elements. So hydrogen <coughs> gas is H2 gas. And an aqueous solution of zinc chloride. And that's ZnCl2. Remember zinc's always a 2 plus, And it's aqueous. So that's a skeleton equation right there. Just has the chemical formulas. Doesn't have any coefficients. Is it balanced? No. 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 What's missing? What do I need? Right. If I just look at hydrogen, for example, two hydrogens as products, only one hydrogen in a reactant, chlorine, two chlorines on a product, one chlorine as a reactant. Zinc's okay. So what should I do? Go ahead. Uh, put a two in front of yourself. Yeah, if I double this, you're done. Okay? So this is the reaction I'm going to do. We're going to generate some hydrogen gas. And as you can see in the front of the room, I've got uh, what looks like an Erlenmeyer flask, but it's got a little uh, uh, sort of spout on the side. It's called a Buchner flask or a filter flask. And I want to collect that hydrogen gas. So I'm going to take a balloon and stretch it over the end like this. There we go. And get some five molar, well, let's get the zinc first. Get some mossy zinc, solid zinc. <laughs> And pour it into the flask, and then add some five molar hydrochloric acid. It's pretty concentrated stuff. And then I'm going to put a cap on it to collect that gas. So let's add a good volume of that. More. More. And I'm just going to let that react for a second to clear out any atmospheric oxygen. Let all the hydrogen clear that out. And then as soon as I cap it, you'll see the balloon start to Okay, there we go. So we're obviously very vigorously producing a gas. Now, what's next? Well, what if I take that hydrogen gas that I've collected and I combust it? So here's the next, uh, here's the next reaction. Hydrogen gas is combusted in oxygen gas to produce water. All right, now your turn. You guys write me a chemical equation based on that sentence right there. Hydrogen gas is combusted in oxygen gas to produce water. You ready? Okay. Skeleton equation first. I'm going to, Akita, do you have a question? No. You want to answer it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. First, we'll the skeleton equation. What's hydrogen gas? H2 plus O2. Mm -hmm. Remember plus your phases of matter, though. Oh, yeah, gas plus O2. He's right. Yeah. Gas yields, and we all know what water is. H2O. It's going to be a liquid. <laughs> Even though we're combusting this high temperature, we write the state of matter as if it were at standard temperature and pressure. So, Akita, is it balanced? No. Nope. Put a two in front of the hydrogen and two in front of the water. Right. Um, put it, I've got one oxygen over here. I've got two oxygens over here. So obviously I need to double my number of waters. But now I've doubled hydrogens. So I put a two over here and everything checks out. So that's now balanced. Good. So let's go back to our reaction right here. It looks like I've collected a pretty good volume of hydrogen. And it's still pretty vigorously going, and that's 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 pretty good. But let me give that another minute because it, it is still very vigorously um, generating hydrogen. So do I want to, yeah, let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. So I want to grab that hydrogen and I'm going to combine it with oxygen. Hydrogen is is pretty stable stuff. If it's floating around in the room. Uh, it's not going to spontaneously combust. You have to add a little energy to get it going. You have to add an ignition source. So first, I just I almost want to get as much as possible. Great reaction. But first, let's get this balloon of hydrogen tied off. I've got a sample of hydrogen in here. And hydrogen, notice where it is on the periodic table. Of course, it is lighter than air, just like helium. Okay. So I have to 
hold it in my my ring stand like this. Okay. Yes. It's gonna pop. Good. And now I want to add a combustion source. So I need to ignite this, and to ignite it, I'm gonna darken the darken the room a little bit so we see how quick the combustion is. Has anybody ever heard of the Hindenburg? Yes. yes. The Hindenburg was a Zeppelin uh, made in I think 1939 or 1941 by Nazi Germany, uh, filled up with hydrogen gas. And Zeppelin, I, I just learned this this summer, Zeppelin is different from a blimp. Uh, ze Zeppelins are huge. Blimps are small. You can fit three or four or five blimps inside of a Zeppelin. They're gigantic. And the Hindenburg was about the size of a cruise ship. And when the, uh, the hydrogen inside it ignited, imagine burning from end to end in about 15 seconds. Okay? So it's a very vigorous combustion, hydrogen is. So we have a little mini Hindenburg here. Let's see if we can imitate the, the reaction. All right, are you ready? Let's get a combustion source. And away we go. Oh my god! All right, so you can see that was pretty quick for a small volume of hydrogen. 